question on Social Security spousal benefits. So my man, uh, Paul, Paul from Michigan, writes in. <clears throat> he truly appreciates my channel. Thank you, Paul. Um, and he says, is this true? My wife's Social Security benefit will be less than mine, so she can file for spousal benefits and receive 50% of my benefit. If this is true, she would receive more than double her earned benefit. Yes, 100% true. Absolutely. And so what happens is, if so I just use me and my wife, for example, my wife and I, Charlotte and me, whatever. Uh, my better half, who's upstairs right now, vacuuming, um, because she got fired because she didn't take the, the jabba. And as such, she survived to live another day. Should I say that out loud? Shh, don't tell anybody I said that. Shh. I'm pissed by this whole thing. I'm, did you hear the lady from Pfizer um, uh, being interviewed or quizzed in uh, the, I think, Dutch parliament or something like that? Uh, freaking nuts, dudes. I just, it's insane to me. But it doesn't matter. You have a choice. You weren't you weren't forced to do anything against your will. No government, at least here in the United States, don't put a gun to your head and say you had to do this. You were convinced. You were, uh, you know, you, you, you were convinced because you believe the quote science and uh, hopefully you never believe that again. Now, I just, I, I just, I cannot believe how many people fell for this. It's like, how, I, I, I just, I can't believe it. And the reason I say that is because of all the evidence of previous lies, I just, it's weird to me how many people who should have known better. I still, to this day, there's a guy on my YouTube channel who totally did not fall for the climate change narrative. I couldn't, I said, how can you, so frustrating. That lady, and she laughed about it. When she's being interviewed about, you know, what they did with the jab, and she laughed. She goes, no, we didn't. Uh, that's crazy. All right, anyway. So Charlotte, let's just say my benefit's going to be 30, I, I'm going to make it simple because I'm a, I'm a simple guy. I'm just a caveman. My benefit will be 3000 a month when I'm 67, all right? That's my full retirement age. So I'm 67, my benefit will be 3000 a month. My wife, Charlotte, spousal benefit will be half of that, 1500 a month, all right? So if her own benefit is greater than $1,500 a month, she inherently will not get the spousal benefit. Because remember, there are three types of benefits here for Social Security. We have retirement benefits, what me and Paul are talking about. We have spousal benefit, which is half of mine or half of Paul's benefit. Or if Charlotte received a bigger benefit on her own record, she would not get the spousal benefit. She'd just get her own retirement benefit. Hope well, that makes sense. And then we have survivor benefit. When I die, Charlotte will get the greater of the benefit I was receiving or her own benefit that she was getting at that point. That's a survivor benefit. Paul just asked about the, uh, the spousal benefit. So when I'm 67... I file for my full retirement age benefit. I get $3,000 a month. Charlotte will get half of that at her full retirement age at 67. Now understand, if I file early, my benefit is reduced, my retirement benefit is reduced, her spousal benefit is not reduced. The spousal benefit is contingent on when she files. I cannot stress this enough. So you look at your social security statement. It's going to say PIA, all right? Your spousal benefit is half of that amount, regardless of when you file, Paul. Is that his name, Paul? Yeah, Paul from Michigan. You can file at 62. Your PIA is still 3000 a month. So if your wife files, should I, do I, do I dare, dare say wife anymore? If your wife files at 67, even if you filed early, she will still get half of that 3000 a month. I can, look, this took me forever because I'm just a caveman. To figure this out, the spousal benefit is contingent on when the spouse files, your wife. I, I, I stress this because people screw this up because they don't understand. I didn't, I mean, look, dude, you know, I didn't understand this for the longest time. So again, going back to Paul here. Paul says, I am filing for my benefit at 62. My benefit will just be 2000 a month because I'm filing early, all right? Then Paul's wife, Janie, says, okay, I'm still going to wait till I'm 67 to file for my spousal benefit. Janie's spousal benefit would still be half of Paul's 
Not 2,000, but 3,000, because that's his PIA. That's why I tell people in the right capital, I said, always do not screw up the PIA. When you're using software, make sure you put the right primary insurance amount. The software will calculate it but based on when you take the money out, but you, the PIA is everything. It's everything. It's kind of like the Earth is the center of the universe. I know I, I kind of chuckle because I can't wait to see how many people say, you actually believe that? Uh, yeah, I actually do. Is that okay? I have a, what is it called? A geocentric. I think the Earth is the center of the universe. And the people go crazy. Like, ah, I, frankly, <laughs> I just, I love poking the bears. It's fun. Anyway, so kind of like the Earth is the center of the universe. <laughs> I just can't wait to see how many people. Ah, it's fun. Um, your PIA is the center of Social Security. I cannot stress this enough. Now notice, what doesn't change? If, you, if, if Paul files at 62, does his PIA change? No. If Paul files at 70, does his PIA change? No. What Janie's maximum benefit going to be? Always half of Paul's PIA. That's it. If Paul files early with Janie's maximum benefit, always half of Paul's PIA. If Paul files late and gets the delayed earnings credits with Janie's maximum benefit, always half of Paul's PIA. That's it. That's her maximum benefit. Now, she can have a lesser benefit if she files earlier than her own PI, her own full retirement age is 67. If she files at 62, I think the benefit will be reduced to like 15% of uh, 50%. So I think she'll get like 35% of Paul's PIA. She files at 63 a little bit more. She files at 64 and so on. If she files at 68, she gets no increase in her spousal benefit. I cannot stress this enough. So remember, when Paul files is irrelevant to Janie, other than the fact that you can't receive a spousal benefit if you're still married until... The primary spouse, in this case, Paul or Josh, files. That's the only thing here. So Charlotte cannot receive her spousal benefit until I actually file for my own benefit, just as an FYI. But it matters not when I file relative to what Janie's benefit or my wife's benefit will be. It matters when she files. Hope that makes sense. I know it's a long-winded answer, but, man, this is a big deal. Big deal. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.